Hello Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Welcome to your monthly singles reading for August 2020. Before I start, I'd like to thank everyone who have subscribed to my channel. Those of you who have liked, shared and commented, thank you all so much for your support. For those of you who have booked private readings with me, I want to thank you so much for choosing me to be part of your journey and part of your, your future. And this month we've got three cards like last month, um, so that is quicker for for you. I feel that's what you like, you guys like. So I think I'll, I'll I'll maintain it that way until you show me otherwise. Okay, so let's start. Oracle and Universe. What's going to be the main energy for Capricorn singles? Sun, Moon, Rising for the month of August. Oh, we'll finish Symphony. Okay. I've already shuffled a card, okay? So I won't shuffle too long. Tarot and Universe, please tell us what is coming for Capricorn single Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for the month of August. Okay. Beginning. Middle. And okay. The bottom deck is the Hanged Man. Okay. We've got eight of swords the lovers the moon okay so capricorn on unfinished symphony this is someone i feel like is possibly your ex or someone who you've had a past life with um in another lifetime and I feel this person will be coming into your orbit or you'll be coming into their orbit or you've been chatting with this person for quite a while and um, you feel like you know them and they know you and you want to find out what this is going to actually be. I feel for most of you, that is how it is. You know, maybe you've not even met them in person, physically here in this life. But I feel like for some of you, it could be that you meet someone and you feel like you know them from somewhere. That's how, that's how I feel with this unfinished symphony here. Okay. And you will want to um, investigate and get to know them. That is how I see it here. And here we've got the eight of swords. Here I feel like... You are going to feel restricted something is going to make you feel restricted i also feel like it's your personal it's your personal life that's going to make you feel restricted in terms of um going for this relationship or possible relationship i also feel here that there may be a lot of things going through your mind so you may want to stop yourself from actually going forward for this relationship or they may be feeling restricted with something within themselves and they may feel like they don't really want to step up you know from the big at the beginning of the month of um, august they might feel restricted or you might be feeling restricted and so they might feel like i want to hold back instead of you know making this move i feel for most of you this is how it is okay it's not that they are not um but you know it could be personal things entangling them and they might feel like it may not be the right time, but, you know, towards the middle, we've got the lovers. So having the lovers card and having the symphony, um, on, on finished symphony, I feel like this is someone who is meant for you. And, of course, you'll be looking at the situation closely at the middle of the month. And you will feel like, yes, I want to um, really, really go for it. Because I feel they, they, will, they will make you feel like... Oh, I think I've known you for, for a long time. But I feel like for some of you, you'll be meeting them for the first time, but it will feel like you've known them for quite a long time. There'll be something about them that will make you feel like you've known them for, for you know, for a long time or you've known them from another life or somewhere. <laughs> That's how I feel it is. And I feel this is more collaboration, more everything going according to plan in the middle of the month of um, August and here I feel like here of course at the end 
towards the end of the month or at the end of the month, some of you be revealing something about themselves to you, a secret to you, or they may, you know, towards, yeah, towards the, the end of the month of um, August, you will see something about them. But I feel for most of you, it could be you who will be revealing yourself to them in a way that you haven't shown to anyone before. Okay. Also, for some of you, something about this person that they may reveal to you may cause you um, to be to feel like I'm not quite sure. But I feel like here um, it's more of an attitude, uh, more of a behavior that um, they will show to you. I feel this is someone that you have a connection with on a different level. Okay, so um, whatever you see or whatever they show you, I feel you need to be brave enough um, to to see whether it is something you like or not. But I feel whatever it is, you or this person is willing to be there for you. That is how I see it. Okay, they're willing to be there for you. So whatever, um, as we see, the moon has a dark side. So if you are seeing their dark side, it could be anything that's their dark side. But I don't think it is something troubling. I don't feel it's troubling because of the unfinished symphony. It could be that, you know, it's some, it could be like a karmic relationship that something has to happen. Something has to come out for the two of you to be able to actually play the symphony that you, you both want. So yes, just, um, just know that there may be something about them that um, there may be something mysterious about them. It could be that. And you might be shocked. But I personally don't feel it's harmful. But I feel they will certainly show you something or you'll be willing to show them something that maybe they might be a bit like, ooh, I didn't, I didn't realize that. And, and something like that. That's how I feel here. So yes, Capricorn, I hope this has been insightful for you. I will leave the reading here. I will see you next month or you will see me next month.